Saba Baby Lale. This is Love and Hip Hop, season four, episode seven. Well, Love and Hip Hop. See, I forgot to say Miami. And then season five, not season five, season four, episode seven. I just don't get why they keep, you know, it's kind of tricky and stuff. Nothing must happen except modeling lie about what he was that night when he was at um his you know at his sister in law business of store it's kind of sick to me that now I think about it because you know some Haitian people do stuff like that but I ain't I ain't dang my style because I like people that's not you know sleeping with somebody's sisters um wife I mean not sister yeah sleeping with somebody's sisters and you slept with her friend, and then he kept lying, trying to sugarcoat it, trying to get um Flo to get back on her, on his um good graces. Man, I just wish Flo was smart because she seemed like a smart woman, but to me she not act like she's smart because to me she plain dumb, and I hate to say it, but yeah, she's I feel like she's gonna still be with him. Because the truth is right then. Demi also knew that he got a daughter that we don't know about by the other chick. Now, we don't know how his daughter, and I wouldn't be surprised if we'll find out that he had a daughter. And I just don't get it. Like, this is your wake-up call, sweetie. You need to leave him. And the thing is, guys, why are these? I thought they were going to show the part when Don, Don told her that you need to Lee, Lee, I did. Lee was last week because she didn't want to drop her and all that shit. I, I don't know. Like, did I miss anything? You know what? It's whatever. The episode was all right, though. Because I don't really have much to talk about. We got Sujiana, you know, don't want to fight her homegirls, her friends, saying they was family. And pretty much he, um, basically saying that he don't care if they're friendly or not. They're messing you up and they're embarrassing you. And we're going to see her cousin, I think, next week when he tell her, when he show her the proof about, you know, they still suffering from her. And that's when she's going to confront her. And of course, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be some drama as usual. We didn't see Trina in this episode or Joyce, but we will be seeing Joyce next week. I think that was her mom or her grandmother or whoever she was. And we know Trek is being ignorant. I say, yeah, I agree. He is ignorant. He don't want to get a divorce. And the funny thing is, he hate her, but you don't want to get a divorce. Like, how that even makes sense? How? I don't get that. You, you just making more worse than it already is. And then he had another talking shit about um, Kyla or Kayla, where her, her name is, Kai, where her name is. And you out there fighting a woman's battle. What kind of shit is that? That's between her and Trina. This got nothing to do with you. I get that you want to defend Trina. But leave that to Trina. And Trina is not, don't even care about the drama. She moved on. She working on a bigger thing. Get her name out there. This woman should have been have an album out. Wish it wasn't her fault. Somebody young was holding her back. And now she's making a name for herself again. We know she's an old legend. I wouldn't say, well, you know, kind of is because she might think she's in her 40s, if I'm not mistaken. We know, I think she engaged, which we know that she is. But we know Sukiya don't want to fire um her girls. And he definitely that, I don't know, I feel like she should pick herself first and start worrying about your friend. They want to continue to be rational and be ratchet, but you know what I mean. They just girls. It is what it is. So. So, um, what I was thinking. What else happened? Oh, Adamara, I'm not surprised that her baby father's not going to show up because now it's going to be some drama between her and Shane. I thought that was cool. I'm not surprised because we already know that Shane brother still had feelings for Alamala and when she fucking moved on why are you going on after her when y'all clearly broke up you gotta move on and then him and this dude gonna get into it next week Shay is really stressed out and you know she's pregnant and her mom I do not like her mom was forever 
She being cold to her right now. And I feel like she don't care what happened to her. When she in an abusive relationship, you're supposed to be there for her. You're supposed to come for her. Excuse me. You're supposed to come for her for your daughter. Especially when she traumatized. I had a friend that been through that a long time ago before I met her. And she's a strong woman that I haven't met. And we, we are close, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, like, brothers and sisters and stuff. We, like, tights, but not like that. Just friends. How much I care about her. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, she need to be a good mom and support her because otherwise she ain't going to cut them out of her life. And I wouldn't blame her. I do feel bad for her for what she's going through on that part. It's a mess. So, like I say, man, I don't have nothing else to talk about. And that's it. Don't forget to like the video and share this video. Peace.